Hello, this is Clay Hearn with Applied CAX, and today we will introduce the Overset Mesh method in SimCenter Star CCM Plus. The Overset Mesh is a method that can be used to capture motion and body interaction in a CFD simulation. Here we have a couple examples of simulations that use an Overset Mesh. In the video in the upper right, we have a simulation of an unfortunate man standing in front of a door with 2.5 psi behind it. Both the man and door dynamic bodies modeled by an Overset Mesh. Here, the high pressure throws the door open, the emerging airstream knocks the man to the ground. The second simulation is less violent, simply shows a football being thrown through the air and there's a vortice trail behind it. We'll discuss this simulation in a little more depth. There are two primary components for setting up an overset mesh. You need to define two independent regions, one for the background mesh and one for the overset region. The background will be the main analysis domain. The overset will act like a dynamic cutter going through that domain. This technique is available for steady state and transient analyses. Although it's mostly used to capture transient motion, you can use it for a steady state analysis to represent some object in your domain where you'd like to move it around, quickly run many iterations, but not have to go through expensive remesh operations. Lastly, you can have multiple overset regions defined that interact with the background mesh and interact with one another, just like the above simulation. Let's look at what the overset mesh is doing in a simulation. Going back to our football simulation, we see on the left the two different meshes. The background mesh is in beige, the overset mesh of the football is in gray. During the simulation, the overset mesh will cut out a section of the background mesh to represent the body, the football in this case, and the air flowing around the body is determined by this overset mesh. If we look at the status of the background mesh cells, we see everything far away from the ball is active and is calculating the flow information, but the cells underneath the overset mesh are turned off. When we reassemble both of these meshes together in the far right, we see the overlapping boundaries of the overset and background mesh are identified as donor and intermediate cells that transfer information between these two meshes through an interpolation scheme. Now this brings us to a couple rules. First off, we want the cells at the outer boundaries of the overset mesh and background to have roughly the same size. This will ensure that we have an accurate interpolation between the two meshes. Second, when performing a transient simulation, you want to make sure your time step is set so that the outer cells of the overset boundary do not move further than the distance of the background cell and this is for a first order Euler scheme. If you're using a second order Euler scheme, then you need to make sure that distance it moves is not more than one half the distance of the background cell. Setting up an overset mesh is fairly straightforward. First, we want to assign the relevant parts that we will be using for a background domain and overset mesh to independent regions. Here we have parts defining the football and then a part defining the field for the background region. Next, we need to create an interface between these two regions. Select both regions, focusing on selecting the overset region first, and then right click to create an overset interface. Lastly, we go to the overset region, identify the boundary that will be the outer boundary of the surface of the region that's going to interact with the background region, and set this to be an overset boundary. Lastly, we can explore the options available for an overset interface. There's many options available and we can dive into these in more depth in future videos. For more information on overset mesh, please review the help documentation in STAR on mesh motion and adaptation with overset meshes. There's also a very good tutorial available that applies the overset mesh method to a load blower where there's actually two interacting overset regions. There's also many articles available on the Siemens support website. I would highly recommend reviewing the video on tips and tricks with overset simulations.